Hey, hello there, how are you? Uh, I am doing a little bit different format this time because I have been doing a lot of this work on FreeBSD on my laptop. Uh, the only thing that I did not do on the FreeBSD operating system is just capturing uh, this output that you are uh, seeing in the background, right? So the output was going out from the laptop through the HDMI to the Linux machine where it was captured because I had to reboot the computer a couple of times. Uh, and the only way to record all of it was to record it via the second machine, right? So the, I'm changing the format a little bit so that I can uh, narrate what I did previously. And the way I did it is, as you can see, right, I have uh, done uh, the job on the machine itself. It was recorded and now I'm talking about it. Uh, so what I did so far is I logged into my um, KDE uh, Plasma on FreeBSD. And what I'm doing here is that I am um, changing basically the logo uh, that says Lenovo uh, on the ThinkPad while booting up, right? Uh, and I'm changing it to the FreeBSD logo. And I got the idea uh, from Justine on the uh, master, right? This is the profile that I'm opening right now. Um, it, it was basically her idea. She posted uh, an idea about changing the logo to something else. And she already has it all uh, well documented on her blog post that I'm going to link uh, below. And basically what um, the the uh, instruction says, right? Uh, go to the support page of uh, Lenovo, uh, type your laptop model number, uh, get your BIOS, uh, download your BIOS, burn it and do the rest of the job, right? So where we are here right now is I'm going to fetch the, um, I'm fetching here the um, BIOS uh, files, right? So what you have listed here is the uh, download for Windows uh, and the download for uh, CD version. Uh, this might sound, uh, sound obsolete, but there is a way to use the CD. Uh, CD right version uh, for the um, for the burning uh, to the actual USB stick right okay so the uh, file is now downloaded so in the terminal you need to uh, use the package manager to install uh, get el torito uh, in order to convert the uh, ISO image uh, into the appropriate format that we are going to burn to the uh, USB stick with dd command right uh, I was uh, trying to get the manual for get El Torito, uh, but uh, it, it didn't work as I expected. Uh, I'm not even sure how manuals are supposed to function on um, BSDs because on Linux I'm just used to using the main uh, man, you know, command for getting some basic uh, instructions on all of the commands uh, that are coming with uh, the GNU uh, utilities, right? So this, of course, is not a GNU utility, but I somehow expected it to have a, a manual entry. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are going to desktop right now, and we are just going to uh, use the output uh, of uh, bios.img, and the, we are going to use the source file that we have uh, downloaded for our laptop and just convert it and let's just check the file sizes uh, are okay. Yep, it definitely did something. Uh, and now we are going to uh, burn it to the USB stick, right? Uh, in the meantime, you should be plugging in uh, your USB stick. Uh, you should know uh, which device uh, it is. And um, I, I have cut off uh, a little bit of the of the in between that I was testing which device do I need, uh, but basically you need to uh, use the if uh, command to take the IMG uh, and off to the um, uh, destination of your USB stick. Right, uh, the A uh, one is the um, device name, not the partition name, but device name. So the burning to the USB stick actually took quite a while for me. I just cut it off so I don't bore you with a super long video uh, where nothing is going on. But basically, once the burning is finished, your 
uh, KD, if you are on KD, will, uh, it will offer you to mount the partition. Uh, and if you don't do it this way, you can just mount it the uh, normal way via uh, command line, right? Uh, so what I did here is that I took my... Um, uh, I, I, I actually made this image uh, by myself. I downloaded a random uh, FreeBSD logo with the black background and cropped it in uh, GIMP and then converted it to a GIF. Uh, because that's one of the formats uh, that is uh, supported by the BIOS, right? And you need to rename it to logo.gif. Uh, I'm not sure if it needs to have uh, all caps, but that was um, written like that in the instructions. So I just did as, with, uh, as it was uh, said that needs to be done, right? So just uh, copy-paste it uh, to the... Um, a flash folder on your mounted uh, USB stick uh, and then we are going to unmount it uh, whichever the, the way you uh, please. I just used the Dolphin file manager, manager to click on the unmount uh, and basically uh, we are ready to burn the BIOS after this. Uh, we just need to reboot uh, the system and then run the procedure to to do the BIOS uh, update, right? Uh, so while the this is rebooting, I'm just going to say what's coming next. Um, my BIOS is already flashed to the latest version at this point. So uh, by default, you are not able to... You should be clicking F1 to enter setup at this point. Uh, by default, you cannot upgrade your BIOS to the same version. It is... Um, they consider it like a downgrade for some reason if you're flashing the same version. So you need to go into your BIOS, you need to go to security and you need to disable the secure rollback prevention. This is an option to guard you from downgrading your BIOS, but also to guard you from uh, reinstalling the BIOS uh, with the same version. This is exactly what I'm doing right now. So we have disabled it um, and now we're pressing F12 to... Uh, enter the boot menu and when we when the boot menu pops up we are going to choose our USB stick in my case it's called Buffalo uh, and now we are booting up the uh, flasher right so you should uh, pick the second option to, to flash it uh, and you need to press the uh, capital shift uh, Y to, to acknowledge all of these uh, prompts and the most important part you need to acknowledge that you uh, are um, allowing the uh, custom image uh, to be flashed as well. And this is something that you have seen uh, a couple of seconds ago on the screen. Um, after you verify all of these uh, functions, uh, it will tell you that it's now going to flash your BIOS. Uh, and in my case, it, it actually took a very, very short time, maybe, maybe just like 15 seconds. Uh, so I'm not sure if it even flashed the BIOS because it usually takes a lot longer. So if you're uh, f like flashing the same version, uh, maybe it will last uh, a, a lot shorter just to flash the image. And as you can see, uh, this is now my laptop booting with the uh, new image successfully. This part is not important. This is just the boot process of, uh, of a free BSD that, that always, always looks <laughs> uh, this way. And just for the, for the fun part, I'm going to boot up uh, plasma, uh, wait, wait for the plasma to appear, SDDM, right? And then I'm going to select the reboot button just to show you once again uh, how it looks when it boots from scratch, right? So let's uh, click the uh, restart button and see how it uh, shuts down and how it uh, shows up with the uh, new uh, Lenovo logo, right? So here we go. This is now the moment when the laptop... Uh, Correctly starts up, and there we go. Uh, there is a new image, right? Uh, so, so there you have it, right? So that that is the um, that is the whole procedure. So as I said, the, this actually turned out to be a little bit more challenging to do because I wanted to not just show you how to um, use the the uh, flasher uh, and burn it to the stick and how to put the image on it, uh, but I also wanted to do all of this on the uh, FreeBSD itself, like uh, all of the recording and editing. And actually, I am recording this uh, on the FreeBSD right now, right? So the um, uh, Evo 4 uh, from the audience, uh, audio device that I have for this microphone, 
Uh, basically, I just plugged it in uh, and it worked uh, out of the box. Uh, however, I did have some problems with directing uh, sound output to the headphones that I have plugged into my external audio interface. Not that it didn't work by default, it's just um, the KDE Plasma doesn't uh, work well uh, with telling the system I am using Pulse Audio. Uh, it doesn't very well tell the system which device am I switching to. You know, on Linux, when you use uh, KDE Plasma, you can just switch between uh, the um, uh, audio outputs and it will switch automatically uh, on the fly. It just works. On FreeBSD plus KDE Plasma, in this current setup, uh, it does not really work, so I had to use a command uh, on FreeBSD to select my uh, USB um, interface as a default audio output for all programs and then I could listen to to all of the programs using my um, preferred sound card. This wasn't really very relevant for recording this video but I did stumble upon this little uh, problem along the way and the second problem I had uh, was even bigger one and the uh, USB camera wasn't working at all. Uh, and this is a matter for a different video because um, it took me a little bit to find all the instructions on how to enable uh, a video for Linux uh, and, and all the drivers and how to put myself into the right group to get the uh, permissions to use this device, uh, etc. It, it, it took a little bit. So this is not supposed to be a part of this video, but I'm just giving you a heads up if you are, go if you are going to record some video uh, or use the webcam at all on uh, FreeBSD, uh, prepare to do some digging uh, through the documentation. It's not too hard, uh, but you do uh, get um, like full control of it uh, until you get it running. Uh, so that's it for me uh, for, for this video and I'm going to see you in the next one, right?